Bringing in these uh, Duroc gilts kind of has changed the pace here, uh, but you can see these are out of that uh, real deal boar. The very first uh, crop of those pigs, uh, Crossroads bought that boar and we're using him here. That um, Just a, really he's done a great job of putting extra dimension and bone. Um, we're trying to decide, I guess, we're trying to uh, get a change up here of which one's going to be out here front and center going to go with the 25-7 that's right here. Um, you can see what's unique about those pigs is we talked about them being tall fronted, heavy boned and deep ribbed uh, kind of situation. They got the basics. You're going to see how much stouter they get as they get older. They follow that sire. I mean he was admired by so many people when they saw him. They was kind of amazed just how he'd done it on kind of normal feed just kept being stouter and she's long neck really feminine made 12-7 and then uh, the other guilt that we're going to talk about it is 12-10 obviously a litter mate and uh, uh, this one I think is is pretty neat uh, very heavy structured uh, and she's good in, in the way she utilizes her hawk uh, you know I think uh, she's got a little callus right there but that's a little bit more environment derived uh, uh, than anything so uh, she'll she'll get uh, wrapped up from that uh, real quick but I, I like this one shape and power up high she's neat in her look and obviously that real deal boar is is very very impressive and I brought some judging teams out here and uh, that dark chocolate just uh, just one more is a, is a pedigree we saw a couple times in some Duroc gilt classes and I remember uh, uh, liking them quite a good deal uh, so once again out here in the ring we have the 12-7 and 12-10 Duroc gilts <laughs> 